Uh, thank you, Dean, and good morning, everyone. Pero con ganas. This phrase was a staple in our household growing up, mostly iterated by my mom. Con ganas means with vigor, with desire. And often my mom said it not just to give sound worldly advice, but also when it came down to cleaning our room or washing the dishes. She wanted to make sure that it was all done con ganas. And it's that same ganas, same desire, same vigor that I've seen amongst my cohort throughout these past two years as Masters of Public Policy students. Vigor and ultimately the desire to be able to stand here today that made us push through those midnight freakouts over microeconomics and stats, all those all-nighters, and even those moments I know each of us had while we managed full-time jobs, fellowships, personal relationships, and feelings of imposter syndrome when we asked ourselves, how in the world am I going to get through this? But more than anything, it was also when you all shared your personal stories of vigor and desire that makes me feel so humbled and privileged to stand alongside each and every one of you. Your stories of what it meant to be undocumented and unafraid, black and brown and unafraid, first generation and unafraid, and the socioeconomic significance of being in a graduate program breaking glass ceilings, and breaking cycles of poverty on behalf of our families. Because our stories and our learned experiences are the ones that now, more than ever, need to be told. As we live through one of the most politically tumultuous times in modern history, we understand what it takes to make sound and just policy. It takes hard facts, it takes critique and analysis and movement building, but most importantly, it takes empathy relationships, and the ability to step into multiple roles different from our own as we reach the negotiating table. I mean, perhaps some of our own national leaders should go through the MPP program, don't you think? <laughs> so I hope and encourage each and every one of you to keep sharing your story, your experiences, and your expertise. My own story begins with my family. Living as a mixed status family, surviving politically tumultuous times has always been part of our own history. Fear of deportation, losing a job due to status, and the struggle towards economic mobility were issues that we lived with every day. And from a young age, I understood what my responsibility was, not only to change the environment in which my family lived in, but do something about the environment so many other families, much like my own, continue to live in today. And I'm so humbled and grateful beyond words for the sacrifices and trailblazing of my parents, my brothers, my sisters, and my mentors so that I could be standing here today. To the School of Public Policy, Dr. Ayon, Dr. Ramakrishnan, as a woman from an underrepresented community, thank you for the doors that you open both in my professional and personal development. To the SPP staff, thank you for allowing students to be partners in your work. And to Ryan Nakamura, who I know is here with us in spirit, I know your mentorship and guidance will have a long-lasting impact in our lives. And finally, to my cohort, the 2018 School of Public Policy MPP graduates, as you continue your leadership as public policy movers and shakers, Keep sharing your stories and keep sharing your expertise. Notice I said continue your leadership because I firmly believe and I have witnessed how you all are already leaders. And I say continue because this is not the beginning of your story, it's the continuation and solidification of your legacy. And keep doing it all with vigor. Keep doing it all with desire. Keep doing it all con ganas. Thank you.